As the deflate debate continues, we hear from Patriots coach Bill Belichick. I'm Miranda on the story. Tom Schur, Newsmax Now update. Belichick says he was shocked to learn about the underinflated footballs and last Sunday's win over the Colts. I could tell you that in my entire coaching career, I have never talked to any player, <clears throat> staff member about football air pressure. Belichick says they're cooperating with the NFL investigation. Quarterback Tom Brady, meanwhile, is scheduled to hold a news conference later this afternoon. If the Patriots are found guilty of cheating, they could be fined or lose draft picks. The former Ferguson, Missouri police officer who shot and killed an African-American teen last summer will likely not face federal charges. The New York Times says the FBI has wrapped up its investigation and has found no evidence to charge former officer Darren Wilson the shoot with the shooting death of Michael Brown. As you may recall, that led to months of protest. There are now demands in New Jersey for the state attorney general to take over the investigation of a police involved shooting. It happened late last month and was caught on the cruiser's dashboard camera. You can see it right there. The victim, Jerome Reed, an African-American man, gets out of the car, apparently after being told to stay put, that's when he was shot. A gun was found inside the car. One of the most powerful politicians in New York is under arrest. State Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver turned himself in on federal corruption charges. The U.S. Attorney in Manhattan is also reportedly investigating Governor Andrew Cuomo. The commander of the U.S. Navy base in Guantanamo Bay has been relieved of his duty and is under investigation. Captain John Nettleton was officially fired for misconduct and a loss of confidence in his ability to lead. There are allegations that he had an affair. The body of her husband was found floating in the waters off the base earlier this month. Top diplomats from the coalition formed to fight ISIS are meeting today in London. British Foreign Secretary Philip Hammond says the military campaign is vital, but it's not the only way to attack the terror group. We're very clear that undermining the narrative of ISIL, interdicting the flow of foreign fighters, stopping the flow of uh, financial funding to ISIL is as important as the military campaign itself. Representatives from 21 of the countries in the coalition are in London. It's their first meeting since 17 people were killed in those Paris terror attacks. Well, here's a novel use for drones, drug smuggling. A drone lugging a load of meth crashed near the U.S.-Mexico border earlier this week. It came down in the parking lot of a Tijuana shopping mall with six pounds of drugs. There's a lesson for you. That was your latest Newsmax Now update.